observing our titular black haired trainee whose future prospects within the DA is more or less non existent, so let's just say Figma did what they do best. Starting off with the head, Takina retains the run the mill uniform hair seen throughout all Asian high schoolers, I mean IRL Asian students. <laughs> In which design is nothing to run home about, but it's the details that shine as Takina's hair boasts the intricate hair details commonly found in Figma figures such as the elastic curves, the individual linings, and the attention to proportions. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Death culminates in a hair that puts even IRL characters to shame, but Figma isn't one to end with a decent hair sculpt as the hair is connected by an additional joint that helps in not only some wicked hair poses but also to support the various head movements required when engaging in CQB. But maybe the most important aspect regarding an anime figure is when they mastered and faithfully recreating the face, and come and behold, Takina retains the cute but also deductive look that was portrayed in the anime in plastic form. Such feats are highlighted by the large blue pupil anime style eyes that not only mirror Takina's true self, but also paint it with love and care that aid in reflecting the anime aesthetic rather than the hell this is. The sharp anime nose, the fluffy and round cheeks that makes anybody want to poke fun at, and a simple pen marked mouth. But if you're not convinced that this is enough talk enough for you, there's also the smiling face that, compared to the out of the box face, emits positive emotions as portrayed through the less irritated intent filled pupils and that grin, which culminates expression when Takina, unlike that of her harsh upbringing, is being showered with love and affection that she desperately needed. But if you want something more kawaii in which Takina is willing to sacrifice her pride and dignity to cheer her girlfriend who's been cuffed, there is this embarrassed face in order to reenact the iconic scene. And I am extremely impressed by the level of detail as the inverted eyebrows, closed eyes, red cheeks, and the open mouth all combine to symbolize Takina's embarrassment but also highlight her devotion to her loved ones. But personally, I like to use it when she's in pain. Now cluck like a chicken! What? A chicken! No! <laughs> But even though Takina possesses the ability to outfight a stormtrooper, she is still but a mere kid. And kids are cruel. In which she is fitted with a school uniform, but rather than your run the mill single color design, the licorice due to position of overseeing the populace, where have I heard that before? are retrofitted with the unique outfits that combine the two separate branches as portrayed through the navy blue representing the, the security and continuing stability and the grey that represents the totalitarian principles into one perfectly representing the government's role to oversee the populace. Wait, were we rooting for the bad guys all along? You're either with us or you're with the enemy, that's, that's clear. And such tyranny is highlighted through the multiple codesque buttons that highlights the DA's military structure, the bonkings on the shoulders that remind me of my military days, the DA shoulder patch on the left shoulder that's commonly associated with the branch you're affiliated with, the relatively long skirt that's affiliated with a more strict and rigid hierarchical structured organization, and you know the worst thing about the military skirts? You can't see those panties. Moving down, Takina as being a military trained personnel is required to pull off some dynamic moves to ensure that the mission objective is accomplished, in which Takina's legs rather than being anorexic to those of your typical Japanese high schoolers actually possesses a pair of some <laughs> legs that aid in supporting Takina's muscular mass. This is in addition to the stockings that cover 80% of the lower legs and all culminate in the standard high school uniform shoes and you can know that they are school uniform through the poor and rudimentary design and the lack of any high heels, the end instead make it conform to uniformity. I just realized talking as the modern day anime version of the Hitler Youth. If you've seen any of my previous videos, Figma is the top when it comes to the accessory department, and in order to live up to the top tier reputation, Figma spared no expense regarding Takin's accessory swordmen. Besides the faces previously mentioned, there are your hands. Besides the out of the box open hands, there are your fists for girly punches, holding hands to hold something down the line, the crossed holding hands to reenact the iconic Sakana! and a trigger and covering hands for Takana to wield her firearm. 
And as a gun junkie I am, how can I equip with a trusty Smith & Wesson M&P 9L 9mm pistol that comes in handy when eliminating soft skin hostiles at close range? And the sculpt and paint job done on the M&P 9L is decent with the intricate markings on the sidearm well inscribed, the iron sight somewhat accurately portrayed, and the pistol grip perfectly aligned for Takuna to follow in the footsteps of a particular somebody. But if Takuna is required to eliminate key political figures that undermine the state, Takuna has to go dark and there is no better code of conduct than by attaching not just any suppressor, but the Sarasu Ko Osprey 9 suppressor that perfectly fits with the MMP 9 Elf, the simple but sleek pistol drip, as well as aiding Takuna's stealth takedowns. Moving away from the American influence, Takuna also comes with this cute backpack. And while simple, I have to say that this is an A plus accessory as Figma left no space for sloppy paint jobs as the golden metallic pots are cleanly applied to where they should be, the markings on the backpack such as the leather straps and even the DA logo are all organically applied, and a 3mm peg that aids in perfectly placing it on Takina, so that it gives off the illusion that Takina and other liquors are your run the mill high school students, when in reality all your standard death troopers. But if you want to pose Takina in some combat heavy poses but is hindered by the skirt, there is this alternative skirt that, by mutilating Takina, removed the skirt, and I have to give credit where credit's due, as the sculptors sure did look extensively into the anime, as rather than your typical panties that are found in 99% of Figma figures, Takina as a combat driven individual values performance over anything else in which the spacious and breathe through boxes are the perfect fit, and a call out for BOXER FANS RISE UP! Remove the legs and pants, place them on the alternative skirt, and connect the lower half back, in which you have Takina with the front of the skirt all open for Takina to engage in either sitting down in style or doggy style. <laughs> Recreating when Shisato discovers the truth. You can't handle the truth! But if you want Takina to fire in a crouch position, there are these alternative pieces, depending on which knee you want to lean forward, can place by removing the front piece and reattaching the alternative piece. And here's Takina in a crouch position, in which makes it the perfect position when using either assault rifles and LMGs in cover. In that moment, I received some semblance of hope. An opportunity to grieve on the law and your son. Took that from me. Oh God. Stole that from me. Killed that from me! People keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. When looking closely at our titular poster child, it is obvious that Chisato was the character that Figma had in mind when designing the set, as the expressions and poses that were depicted in the anime are one-to-one -one depicted in plastic form, which is something Figma had a hard time doing from time to time. Such depictions are firstly observed through the titular yellow coconut-like hair that, just like Takina, retains the intricate details such as the individual hairlines and the red ribbon that neatly ties the rest of Chisato's blonde hair into the idle image of a student that the Japanese education system desires. But I can say for sure that Chisato is far from the image of an idle student as just by observing her face does she possess an expression that is overly positive for the collectivist Asian culture. Such excess supply in dopamine is possible through the large intent filled pupils that discrease the positive energy stored within the unique high schooler, the sharp and simple anime style nose, the smile that is so great that the inside of her mouth is all exposed, and the kawaii cheeks that gives off the illusion that I can break the present in two with my bare hands! But if this isn't kawaii enough for you, there is this extra cheerful face that this time around double dips into the truck that is dopamine, in which the smile is cranked up to 11 as for trade through the slightly smaller but more focus eyes that are clearly locked onto an unlucky or lucky depending on who you're asking. You thunder against me! You will not die! The blood red pink cheeks that explicitly portrays Tsato's joy and a teeth grinding grin with her flawless tooth all exposed, culminating in an expression that can mean she can be your angel or she can be your devil. 
But if Chisato is ever to come to realize that someone or something deprived the living breath out of Chisato's loved one, the once hopeful and optimistic persona is completely erased and in its place is an expression that reflects vengeance and furious anger. Such expression is fulfilled through the completely inverted eyebrows, the pupils that retain similar levels of vengeance to John Wick, and a completely shut mouth. All of which culminates in a face that depicts our beloved girl forsake her code of conduct and completely drench herself in the warpath. Yeah, Jonathan. Welcome. But our beloved Lolly protagonist, just like her personality, also likes to stand out regarding her trip, in which rather than the commonly provided pseudo-totalitarian vibes, Chisato adopts a more red outfit that's reminiscent of another pseudo-similar group. I must be seeing things. But besides the alterations in ideology, the core remains the same with the imperial grey scattered throughout, the buttons this time colored gold, the individual wrinkles organically embedded, and a DA shoulder patch situated on the left, not to forget the blue colored bow tie on the chest. But even with such measures that inhibit any signs of uniformity, Sato and her lucky go to nature may have been something the state couldn't handle as her physical traits were too much for them to censor dead. It had the opposite effect, in which further highlights Chisato's ballistics and mocks it not only as a threat to gun wielding hostiles, but also to gun wielding hostiles. And Looking beneath the skirt, it is obvious that the sculptors took heavy inspiration from the anime, as just like Takana, who was depicted wearing boxes, Chizato is shown with her standard white underpants, which probably explains why she took offense after seeing Takana with the boxers you and I both wear. But it wouldn't be a masterpiece if they didn't both Chizato's dick ass. And which is so huge as consuming the fabric itself. And my god, this is so detailed with the cracks and crevices with the more simple top gradually turning to something more complex going down. <laughs> Death colored in your standard skin tone would definitely be a different category of figure. But just in case. God damn you all to hell. Moving down to the legs, besides the choice of underwear is literally identical from the dye thickness the color of the stockings, and even the choice of feet wear, which more or less emphasizes the liquor's need for a muscular structure when pulling off the dynamic movements in eliminating hostiles, regardless whether they're civilian or military. When having a look at what Chisato has at her disposal, it's more or less identical to her girlfriend, minus a few variations. Besides the previously mentioned faces, the odd ah, Chisato's accompany hands starting off with the out of the box open hands, fist for punching narcissists, holding hands just like Takina to hold for Chisato to use her phone, a large holding hand holds something down the line, the dual finger hand that's perfect when Chisato is posing in front of British lads with style, and these shooting hands that are the perfect pair when Chisato is wielding her sidearm. And there's no pistol better suited for Chisato in taking down hostile than her trusty Tetonix Combat Master that, unlike Takina's more modern MMP9L, goes old school, as the Combat Master is more more or less a variant of the classic Colt 1911 in which it fires the 45 ACP round that, while holds less rounds in a man, has better firepower to compensate. This is alongside that this gun, when for those intimate encounters, has fangs, allowing to suit with Chisato's rapid and tactical style of approach. But as the outgoing extrovert Chisato is, guns aren't her only weapons as she comes with a smartphone, and by the looks of it, an iPhone, that not only aids in Chisato's socially assassinating particular figures online, but also in the case where the Korean government orders for Chisato's personal information from Apple, rest assured that Apple will deny such requests. But if you want Chisato to pull off some dynamic poses as seen in the anime, just like Takano, Chisato is accompanied by a various set of skirts in which, by removing the upper torso, removing the skirt, the legs, the holy relic, 
reattaching them to the alternate skirt, then the legs, and reattaching them to the torso, and here you have Chisato with the wind blowing beneath her skirt in which her panties are exposed for the whole world to see. And is it me? Or am I getting turned on? But nonetheless, it's the perfect form when Chisato is sitting on a chair. Just don't look to the other side. <laughs> it's you son of a bitch. But if you want Chisato in the knee position, just remove the first piece and add the alternate piece you desire, in which Chisato, without the hindrance of any plastic, can freely crouch behind cover or jump in dynamic poses to show off her panties show off her tactical maneuvers in combat. But Chisato, as being a high schooler, is forced to use the standard issue of Letter School Bag, which is basically identical with the one that was offered with Takina's minus one exception, which is the petite mud accessory that is more or less placed on the skull to not only differentiate Chisato's bag with that of other licorice, but also apt to symbolize Chisato's outgoing and kawaii personality. But if you happen to order the set from the Good Smile store, there are three extra accessories. First, there's a soda that would no ad sponsorship. Figma removed all labels and in its place added a child with the katakana spelling, Kokikan, in which you can place on Chisato's large holding hand in order for the good old carbonated drink after battle. Then there's this chocolate fudge dessert that, just like the name, possesses so much chocolate that it can stop one's arteries and placed on a plate, in which is perfect when Takina realizes that her creation looks like a literal Ted. But if you want the epitome of gay girls, there is this holding hand piece that is the culmination of Chisato and Takina's friendship, in which by placing them on both girls, you have this cute moment when the girls realize their true feelings and make out. When closely observing how our two girls stand as high schoolers, you don't expect either Chisato or Takina to stand out, especially compared to contemporaries with guns. But don't be fooled as these girls were raised with a strict military training and better medical care than the average taxpayer could afford, resulting in these two gun-wielding miners standing above your wife and contemporaries and instead rivaling the average military personnel. This is highlighted by the fact that both girls stand at 15 centimeters or roughly 5.9 inches tall. Here's Chisato and Takina next to Gumpla, Kaijus, Dual Personality Disorder, Fellow Figma, and their father figure. If you're aware of the Figma line, Figma as being the leader regarding poseable anime figures, endeavors upon adding as much poseability into their figures as humanly possible, and both Chisato and Takina maintains the standard left by their predecessors regarding such aspects as the head can freely move up and down, side to side. When Takina possessing the extensive hair can move it front and back, aiding in her head movement. But due to the lack of a butterfly joint, shoulder lift is limited, but by twisting the arm, as it was originally designed, aids in the both girls sticking to their Japanese traditions. Banzai! Elbows can bend over 90 degrees, standard hand movement, torso movement is limited, and can pull off the feats achieved by their forebearers, while waist movement is impressive due to the nature of the skirt happens to easily fall off. And while the skirt limits leg movement by removing them, <laughs> They're able to pull off an extensive feet, knees can bend over 90 degrees, dynamic feet movement, and a toe bend. So, regarding Figma's iteration of Chisato and Takina, Figma worked their wonders once again when they accurately depicted the characters from the anime into plastic form. Such achievements are portrayed through the intricate details placed throughout the body and outfit, the face that accurately depicts the expression seen in the anime, and the individual underpants for each character. So, there's a treat for everybody, regardless of whether you're a boxer fan or a fan of traditional wear. But to be frank, I'm more of a fan of tight panties. Let me kiss you. This is not mentioning the numerous accessories that add to the overall figure, both figuratively and literally, alongside the great range of posability that is usually associated with Figma figures that add to the overall value of the gay couple. With that said, if you're a fan of anime John Wick, gay girls, or quality figures overall, I will highly recommend this set to anybody out there right now. Especially for you pedos. And I love models. In doing so, I'm gonna give Fitness Iteration of Nishikiki Chisato and Inoue Takina a ranking of an A+. Plus.